So today I thought I'd do something different than last time. Uh, I've been getting asked uh, what it takes to get started with an LZX system. I obviously have a couple rows and in the last tutorial I used them uh, fully, I think pretty much. So I thought this time I would do a very simple patch. Uh, it doesn't use too many LZX modules. There's only three, but I'm using uh, the video blending matrix, the sync generator, and the color video encoder. I'm complementing those with some Euro modules. Now the only one I'm actually using for the video signal is the Borg filter. Um, also the only control sources on the Borg are coming directly from the video itself. Uh, I am using a A119, we'll get to that later. All the other stuff you see patched up right now um, is part of a larger audio video sort of thing. So I'm actually going to unpatch that part of it and just kind of walk you through the video side of it. Okay, I'm back and um, I have unpatched so it's a little clear what's going on. Um, so this is just the video portion of the signal. And uh, I do think it's a, a kind of important to show patches like this because most people, there's only a handful of these systems out there and I know a lot of people are interested in it but think they might have to buy an entire row of modules to get started. Um, and again, this is just using three LZX modules. And I think this is uh, one option for a small starting system. Um, for any system, you know, you, you're going to need a sync generator and a color video encoder. Um, so the only other module I'm using here is the video blending matrix. And the video blending matrix basically just adds and subtracts signals. It's just like a video mixer, essentially. Um, which doesn't sound very exciting, but um, it's capable of some really amazing results. Uh, especially in absolute mode, which I'm using right here. So. <clears throat> to break down this patch, I'm pulling video in from my little DVD player over here. That goes into the video sync generator, and the video sync generator also has a black and white video output. This black and white video output is simultaneously going into the video blend matrix. Uh, and that's just, if I unplug this, you can see that's just, you know, the black and white image. No big deal. Um, and then uh, I molted it with a stack cable and I'm going into a dope fur, A119. Um, and this is just to boost the signal. LZX visionary systems run on a 1 volt scale as opposed to most uh, other Euro, which runs on a 5 volt scale. So I'm just boosting up the signal before sending it out to a Borg filter. This is a Borg 1. Over here, it comes back into the VBM and you can see if I turn off the original black and white video this is basically what the Borg is doing. The Borg right now is about three quarters to high pass mode. When you increase the resonance as you can see it effectively just acts like an oscillator. But what's interesting, even in this circuit, is we get this kind of slurry sort of mess of stuff, which is kind of cool on its own. But the image gets really interesting when we mix it back into the original signal. And the interaction between the kind of sloppy Borg filtered video and the actual video becomes a lot more clear. Um, pull this down. So you get these sort of trails off to the side. Um, it looks very good with high contrast footage um, and it looks very good with footage in motion. You can see the uh, horizontal bars sort of follow the motion. A couple of other notes. You'll notice that I have the um, input, the video signal, also molted out to a control in here. 
Um, that just gives a little more variety to the thickness of the lines. So you can see if I put this all the way down, um, I also have a key in, I'll take that out. Put that all the way down, uh, the lines tend to stay the same thickness. As I turn the control up, it starts to vary a little bit more, um, again, based on the movement in the actual video signal. So I could put this in and get sort of oscillations mixed in. So if I go over here and start modulating controls on the video blend matrix, I get different color schemes, different mixes of things. The uh, signal coming off the board is a 5 volt signal. That's why when it, I put the res all the way up, everything just turns white very, very quickly. Um, I'm sort of attenuating it here on the VBM, so you don't even need this guy for this patch. You don't even need a voltage interface. Um, you're pretty much set to go with three basic LZX modules. And so now, you get a more extreme result. So there you go. This is a very cool, pretty flexible patch um, using just three LZX modules.